Okay, so I've got this great new bass overdrive pedal, and so I'm going to give it a try out here and really demonstrate how flexible and great this little overdrive pedal is. And so first I'm going to play a, a bass part without the uh, pedal on. Alright, so now let's hear it with the pedal on. Alright, so you can see it's it's got a lot of meat to it. This is a really powerful uh, overdrive pedal. So let's uh, let's do a little playing around and show how flexible it really is. Now I've got it uh, maxed out here, so let's uh, let's turn everything down and put it on its lowest uh, overdrive setting. All right, so I can see it's just a little bit of breakup. It's it's not much. It's just a nice little, uh, nice little warmth that it adds to the tone. So now let's uh, let's add a little bit more in. Well, yeah, maybe we'll yeah maybe we'll just go up. Oh yeah, around here. Yeah, let's try it here. All right, and then it's got this, it's got both a tone and a distortion knob, which is really flexible. So let's uh, turn the, uh, the distortion and the tone down. All right, so let's go up a little bit so you can, you can uh, kind of hear the uh, variances of the tone that it produces. It may, well, yeah, around there. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> And so as you can see, there's a lot of flexibility. It really generates a lot of, a lot of different tones. And it's also got this blend knob, which is really handy. So you can, you can blend between your, your, your dry signal and your, your overdriven signal. So let's see, let's hear how that sounds. And then, of course, all the, you know, all the settings in between. So as you can see, it's really a, a really flexible overdrive pedal. It can really do anything. So I want to show you just how great this compressor really is. This thing is just, it really just makes everything sound better through it. So here's the uh, compressor with the uh, signal off. All right, so now I'm going to turn the compressor on and you'll hear just what a what an incredible difference it makes in the sound. Wow, hear that warmth? That's just just incredible. It just does so much for your for your sound. I just I, I can't believe just how good this compressor sounds. So let's hear that again. Here's with the compressor off. Okay, now here's with the compressor on. I mean, that's just amazing. Okay, so let's take a look at the EQ section on this bass preamp. It is so flexible, uh, so you want to, you definitely are going to want to check this out. And it's got this uh, mid gain, low and high, which is really cool. I guess it's what they call like a parametric EQ. And so it's got the low and the high. And here I'm going to do, I'm going to set everything to zero here, so you can you can kind of see how everything sounds when I make adjustments on each one. So here's the uh, low knob. Oh yeah, that adds a lot. That's really powerful. Or you can go the other way and look at that. Cuts all the low out. All right, put that back to zero. Now the high knob. Oh yeah, that adds a lot of nice high end to the bass, a lot of sparkle. Oh, and now, yeah, that gives it a nice uh, kind of an old school sound. Yeah, when you cut the, uh, the high, yeah, that sounds good. OK, 
Okay, so now let's go to the mid frequency knobs. Here's the uh, here's the first one. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess it adds a little bit, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it kind of you know enhances it a little bit, but you know, it's not. It's very. It's definitely very subtle. Whatever it's doing, it's very subtle. I mean, yeah. I mean, as I kind of max it out, I kind of expect a little bit more from it. Um, it's definitely still you know, very subtle the way they've, they've engineered that. Well, let's go to the other knob and see what it does. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty subtle too. So it's definitely, you know, a subtleness that it adds to the, uh, to the sound. Um, you definitely are going to want to use the, uh, the uh, low and high knobs down below to do most of your, your EQ settings. They seem to be a lot more flexible than the, than the upper knobs, which are, you know, like I said, a little bit more of a subtle thing, just kind of add a little bit of an extra, you know, like edge to the sound, you know, a little bit of, you know, a little something, you know, subtle.